It was the fourth day of heavy fighting in Kashmir. India and Pakistan have been battling for control of the region for more than half a century. There have been two wars and many more skirmishes. It's ordinary people who pay the price. At this refugee center in Pakistani-controlled Kashmir, people watched tracer bullets light up the sky as they fled their homes. They described it as all-out war. On this side, 48 died. On Indian territory, the death tolls put at 80. This refugee says the security forces were firing guns and rockets at them for four days, destroying their homes and killing their people. The fighting erupted as India and Pakistan's leaders met to discuss the future of Kashmir and its people. The talks ended in stalemate. With both countries declaring their nuclear programs, the international community can't afford to turn a blind eye. Islamabad wants outsiders to sort it out, but India doesn't. We have asked for an arbitration by a neutral country, any country, but they don't want to accept such things. Therefore, it is Indian trust engines which is actually creating all these violent situations on the line of control. Thank you. With both sides unwilling to compromise, there seems little chance of an early end to the fighting.